Witam wszystkich serdecznie, z tej strony Drakonikus i zapraszam na kolejny odcinek z gry Starfield. Jesteśmy właśnie po wizycie na bardzo mroźnej planecie i wróciliśmy na stację piratów, więc zobaczmy co mamy tutaj, co dostaniemy z misji i w ogóle. Pogadajmy sobie od razu z samym, bo coś chcę. Yeah, sorry if I'm a little out of it. Didn't get much sleep last night. Lillian and me, well, I tried talking with her and I lost my cool. Got a little heated. I know I woke Cora up. No, no, I'm careful about that. I mean, I try and not put down Lillian with an earshot, which, well, isn't that hard, really? Ah, Lillian, she's an incredible woman, truly. But it is always, and I mean always, about the job. And when she bleeds, free star colors spill out. And back when I was a ranger, we were quite the team. Oh, don't worry, you're... In a category all your own. What was I? But one day, I was just done. No particular reason. It had been building for a long time. She so tried to convince Lillian to leave it behind, come with me. She shot me down. Hard. Hurt my pride. More than a little. But she was probably right. Yeah. Separation ain't known to be kind on little ones. It's funny, our latest argument started because Lillian thinks I'm putting Cora in too much danger traveling with you. I told her what you told me, that Cora is just blossoming with all this. With Sarah, you, heck, even Walter. I just know Cora has futures I could never dream of. But Lillian, not so much a fan of you. That kind of set me off. Nah, don't be. It's always something. Cora's been stood up a time or two by Lillian. Always for the best reasons. Last time I think Lillian got a medal for it. But at a certain point, Lillian's excuses don't matter. Poor Cora cried for a week. I don't want to put her through that again. That's what I think, too. And for now, Lillian's going straight to voicemail. So everyone can sleep easy. Dobra. So there I am. You see security on my tail. Przede wszystkim, nim jeszcze zdamy zadanie. I never ever imagined I'd be in the heart of the Crimson Fleet. Dodajmy graty. Krawin można sprzedać. Cika sprzedamy. To jest fajny pistolecik, tylko że szkoda, że ma mały pen. To jest biały. To już nie ma kasy, ok. We're done here. Great. You want to survive? My gear may not be bulletproof, but 
since then. <laughs> no prices too hot. Well, only the best protective gear you can find. Jeszcze by pasowało coś sprzedać. Hi, I'm here if you need me. Every captain here's earned their stripes bleeding. I hope Bug has something strong enough to knock me out. Just to his window. Jeszcze wyżej mamy się zgłosić. Będę. There you are. The hell took you so long. It's about time. I was about to fly down and loot your bodies. Not now, neighbor. Well, you said you found something. Hand it over. That's it? Just one slate? After losing so much of our crew, it better be a map with a big red X on it. Well, I'll be damned. Legacy wasn't referring to Crix's fortune. It's the name of an actual ship. A Galbank transport probably loaded with credits. Never heard any stories about a Galbank ship going down. And even if it had happened, it would have been picked clean years ago. No, neighbor. Think. If Galbank covered it up, and over time, the location was eventually forgotten, it wouldn't be on anyone's radar. Okay, this changes things. Now that we know what we are looking for, we have to narrow the search. Well, that is not necessarily true. Let us start with what we know. It was a Galbank ship, which means the company is going to have records of where it went down. Neva, weren't you working on a deal with Rokov? Something about a big wig charity event on one of Trident's Starliners? Are you serious? I've been working on that gig for three months. That's my score. Ay, Dios mio. Will you shut up about your score and think for a second? That Starliner has a Galbank VIP suite aboard, which means... Come on, Neva. This isn't hard. Which means a Galbank exec will be aboard. We grab their credentials and get ourselves into the Galbank archives in New Atlantis. Holy shit, that might actually work. I'll send a message to Rokov right away. 
Pack your bags, Rook. You're going on vacation. And since you've earned it, take this gun with you. Might come in handy when Rokov screws everything up as usual. Good, because that is exactly what you are going to be doing. Neighbor and I are too well known to walk around the Starliner without being recognized. If Trident security spotted us, it'd be over. I need you to board that ship, make contact with Rokov, and get me those credentials. You know what? I'm gonna leave that entirely up to you. If you think he's come through for us, you can promise him he'll get paid. But if he gets in your way, then you take him out. <laughs> I see what you are getting at, Rook. And don't worry, I would ask the same thing. Just be sure to get those credentials. Anything else of value you find on Rokov Starliner is all yours. You'd better. Oh, before you leave, I wanted you to know that I took what you said about Mathis into consideration, and I've decided to cut him from the fleet. Honestly, I'm surprised he made it off Suvorov in one piece. Because you're the one that finished the job. You followed orders, and you put your neck on the block to get that data to the key. As far as Mathis goes, I'm sure you had to drag him through the lock and prevent him from doing something as stupid. There's no need to cover for him. Your first impression told me everything I needed to know. That's it then. Next stop for you is Rock of Starliner, the Siren of the Stars. And remember, Rokov does not need to know anything about Grix's legacy. For now, it's just between us. Now get out of here. Hey, Rook. Before you head out, I need to have a word with you. Meet me at the last Nova after you wrap things up with Mathis. Hell of a job you did down there, Rook. Hell of a job. Chyba sobie zrobiliśmy wroga, no ale cóż. Samina can do more than patch you up. She's gonna try to remove If I had a Berian crest, I'd run my own. Hey, I want to talk to you. Thanks to you, Delgado's cutting me from the fleet. Well, you know what? You better get your own fleet. Because I'm coming after you. Oh, I see. You think you're some kind of big shot, is that it? I'm gonna show poor Mathis a little mercy now. You're Delgado's best buddy, yeah? Well, guess what? Your generosity is getting me kicked off the key. And that means you better watch your back.
Yeah? Well, then it just cost you big time, because now you're a walking corpse. You just don't know it yet. It was your brilliant idea to cross Delgado. This is kind of looking like, uh, well, karma. Now get the hell out of me way! There you are. All right, look. I've been lining up a score with that asshole roll call from the Siren of the Stars for months. I'm not about to let a payday slip through my fingers. So guess what? You're gonna finish the job for me. My friend's got a point, Bog. Every pirate in this joint is to the Nova for a drink. I'm about to tell you, so shut up and listen. Roll call's been tipping me off about some kind of bullshit charity event that the Siren of the Stars is hosting. At the event, they're gonna give away something called the Earth Savior Award, which is worth tens of thousands of credits. So it's simple. While you're on the Siren, swiping those Gal Bank credentials, I want you to grab that award and bring it to me. No. Dombrowski's only aboard to use the Gal Bank VIP suite, so he can catch a free ride at the company's expense. I'm sure he'll be there partying with the other spoiled brats. I guarantee he doesn't give a crap about what's going on at the event. From the pictures I've seen, the award is set with 12 blue diamonds and covered in gold filigree. If I get Jazz to take it apart, I can turn it into a hell of a lot of cash. And best of all, the components become untraceable. Yeah, yeah, very funny. You're hilarious. You should stand up on the bar here and start telling more jokes. This crowd would eat it up. Look, you can make all the jokes and excuses you want. But if you don't come back with the ES award, I'm gonna deduct it from your pay. Either way, I get my money. How much you walk away with is in your own hands. Got it? So if we want to see any juice at the end, we got to play ball. Message received. All Rokoff does is feed me information. If I ask him to lift a finger, he gives me enough sob stories to fill a freighter's cargo bay. If you want my advice, leave him completely out of the loop. Otherwise, it's gonna cost both of us some credits. Yeah, ES, Earth, Savior, get it? Come on, keep up with me here. I got about 17 other things to do and you're holding me up. <laughs> yeah, but I had this is I know. I was probably meant all. You do whatever you want. I'm trying to offer you extra money and you're throwing it in my face? I'm gonna remember that. All right, Rook, we're done here. Now, get your ass to the siren and bring me my goods. Because that's exactly what you are. A rookie, a newbie, fresh me. Beneath all of that inexperience, I'm sure you have an actual name. But honestly, no one gives a damn. So get used to hearing that word. Until you earn your stripes, you're a rook to everyone in the fleet. Good luck. Don't challenge God to five fingers for life. Probably must have just started to take care of the enemies. We're just going to see what we've got. What do we have for the pistol? Let's see.
Amunicja, karabinki, broń, stępka. No, całkiem nie najgorsze. Prawda, nie umywa się przeciwko naszym. Ma, ma mniejszy magazynek. A, A i na szału nie robi. Dobra, sprzedajmy jeszcze resztę rzeczy. Przede wszystkim zobaczmy, czy mamy poziom. Mamy poziom, więc możemy sobie spróbować odblokować technicznych te statki. Co my do tego potrzebujemy? Budowę statków. Mhm. Możemy to w sumie odblokować, więc odblokujmy sobie to. A. Sprzedajemy resztę rzeczy. You have something for me? I hope you've brought me something in. I hope you're not low on credits. Uzbrojenie. A w sumie sprzedał. On jest bardzo dużo warty, ale jeśli go nie będziemy sprzedawać. Czytajmy resztę tych. Co mamy z tych zasobów? Zasobów bym wolał nie sprzedawać. Ja sobie przejdziemy na statek, bo się mogą przydać. You find anything of value, bring it here first. Zwłaszcza, że teraz i tak będą nas kosztować jeszcze ulepszenia. Gdzie jest ta od statków? Na pewno bym chciał w pierwszej kolejności na pewno musimy zmienić statek. Ten możemy zarejestrować albo sprzedać. Jest tutaj słaby. Wróćmy do naszego. Łamacza osłon, damy go jako statek domyślny. I tutaj bym chciał wymienić...
Nie bym sobie jeszcze tutaj kupił ten drugi posłaniany. Myślę, czy jakby to przesunął. Tutaj moglibyśmy coś jeszcze wstawić. Na przykład ładownie Galeon. Po jednej i po drugiej stronie. Chciał ją obrócić. O właśnie. Czemu nie mógł chciał zamocować? Jeszcze raz. G. O, obróćmy. O, i pięknie. Mamy bardzo dużo miejsca na ładunki. Przemalowali byśmy też tylko na czerwono. Damy w kolorze nie to chciałem, to chciałem kolor ok J kolor Zatwierdź i z drugiej strony to samo. Zatwierdź. No i ład, dużo ładniej to wygląda w tej chwili. To byśmy zrobili sobie czarne. Czarne, tak miało być srebrne, drugi kolor czarny, pierwszy kolor czarny. Ok. No i dużo fajnie to wygląda. Jak się jeszcze zastanawiam, gdybyśmy to umieścili. Jakbyśmy to umieścili osłony. Thank you. 
O, wydajmy trochę kasy. To skasujmy. I tutaj, jak mamy ostrzeżenie. Dodamy dodatkowe baki helu. Tych nie możemy sobie zrobić na razie. Atlas schod 20 Do ostatku w rangę drugą musimy mieć. Ok. Więc z tej strony nie będzie nic. Ale musimy dodać jeszcze silniki. Ten usunęli, a jego miejsce dali jeszcze raz taki sam. Tutaj dali jeszcze napędy. Podwozia. Co to jest tutaj? Podwozie. Boże, ile nas to będzie kosztować. Nie. Rezygnujemy na razie z tego. Będziemy nic na razie zmieniać, bo to będzie nas bardzo drogo kosztować. Tylko to mieliśmy zmienić, kurde. I don't mind helping, but it'll cost you. I bet you would. Pamiętam, <laughs> czy... Let's take a look. To do osłon mamy. Tam też w menu, czy nie? 
sobie jedno zakresowe, czyli to do kasacji. Na jego miejsce damy sobie dwuzakresowe. Dwu I to będzie nasza cała. Na razie modyfikacja. Mamy kolejne zadanie. Raport z misji na Wigilansie. Więc skoczmy na Wigilansa. Mam nadzieję, że nas nie namierzą. się ukrywa Wigilans na sol tej chwili. Polecimy na Wigilansa. połączenia się ani zadokowania do niego. O, jakaś ścina ostra. So how did it go? Even with our best intelligence equipment, we can monitor very little from the vigilance. We can pick up local communications chatter and use long-range scans to see where you travel. But when you're on the ground, you're on your own. If we get too close, we not only expose ourselves to an attack, but we might blow your cover. That could get everyone killed. Frankly, it's because we've never gotten this far before. The last agent I sent to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet ended up in a morgue on New Atlantis. You stop now. Delgado will make it his life's work to hunt you down and kill you. Not to mention the fact that you could potentially jeopardize the intelligence operatives we have in the field. Lieutenant Toft is correct. I'm sorry, but there is no turning back. That being said, I believe you should be proud of what you've accomplished. 
I was certain we'd fool Delgado. But never. She's a sharp one. Overcoming her scrutiny is no small matter. Did you discover anything worth reporting yet? I understand your concern, but you can rest assured that every member of this crew has been thoroughly vetted by both myself and Lieutenant Toft. Any information that you turn over will not be leaving this ship until it's fully encrypted and encoded. I give you my word. Legacy. Why does that sound familiar? Wait a moment. Are you telling me Delgado may have actually located Crix's legacy? You're kidding. Crix's legacy. I always wondered if that damn thing was real. Judging from the fact that this data involves both Crix and legacy, I'd say it's as real as it gets, Ranger Kuhn. I suppose it's possible, sir. Intelligence picked up a bit of chatter on that subject recently. We assumed it was some sort of tall tale or a story to attract recruits to their cause. Well, we can solve that little mystery in about 10 seconds. Let me see what we have here. Nope. There are no records of a gal bank transport named the legacy in the database. <laughs> I think Delgado's trying to manipulate you. What do you think, sir? I think there's no record because Gal Bank is hiding something. Delgado's no fool. If he reached his own neck to get that information, then he must be on to something. We have to take this seriously. What's your next move? That one's simple. We monitored your ships heading down to the surface of Suvorov. In fact, when he returned to the key and you didn't immediately follow, well, we almost thought our operation was terminated. Can you imagine the amount of embarrassment Galbank would have to endure if they listed a lost transport in the ship registry? Doesn't matter if that ship went down five or five hundred years ago. If news gets out that a bank has misplaced money, it would tank their value. Clever, Delgado. Very clever. If I were in your place, I'd be trying to do the exact same thing. We can't let Delgado get his hands on what could potentially turn out to be the largest haul of credits the Crimson Fleet's ever seen. Maybe I should head out to New Atlantis, sir. I could press the Galbank execs for information. Get ahead of everything. No. Let's allow this to run its course. We have our agent here feeding us information. I think that's good enough for now. There's more to this than just finding the location of the transport. Jasper Cricks was clever. For some reason, he never got there. Because the Crimson Fleet would be a totally different adversary, and Crix wouldn't have disappeared years ago. Even if they hid the money with that damn human computer, Shinya Voss, our forensic accounting people would have found that data. No. The Crimson Fleet are in dire shape right now. They haven't seen that much currency. Well, ever. And let Neva Mora take his place. Or Shinya Voss. Or any one of a number of pirates already gunning for his position. No. The solution is to stick to the undercover operation and determine how much of this is truly a credible threat. It's imperative that you do. If the Crimson Fleet gets its hands on a transport full of currency, it would be disastrous for the settled systems. I need you to do whatever you can to bring us more information. And for God's sake, don't kill anyone on that Starliner. You're both dismissed. Dobra, dostaliśmy kasko za misję. Możemy teraz spłacić nasz kredyt, tylko czy chcemy to robić na razie? Naszym kolejnym krokiem jest... Naszym kolejnym krokiem jest podróż do tego transportowca. I'm all 
all ears. No. Na pewno w pierwszej kolejności zrzućmy wszystkie zasoby. I teraz tak. Sprawdźmy jak wygląda status misji. Mamy się udać w pobliże... Siren of the Sasters, który jest na Olimpusie. Tutaj też mamy swój dom w sumie, ale na tym zakończymy dzisiejszy odcinek. Już zbliżamy się do godziny. 48 minut. Jeszcze na koniec sobie wyleczmy naszą przypadłość. Znajdźmy czym to wyleczyć. Mam nadzieję, żeby to wyleczyć w ogóle. O. Uleczmy się od razu. Na tym zakończymy dzisiejszy odcinek. Dziękuję Wam za uwagę. Przypominam o, o możliwości dołączenia na Discorda, o subskrypcjach, o komentarzach i lajkach w górę. I do zobaczenia już w kolejnym odcinku, który albo ukaże się w sobotę, a może w sobotę spróbujemy sobie z czegoś, jakąś inną grą. Jeśli byście chcieli zobaczyć inną grę, to napiszcie w komentarzach. W propozycjach mogę Wam dać Sunken Land, które ostatnio sobie ogrywam i całkiem ciekawie się wydaje. Postawię też ankietę. Jeśli byście chcieli sobie zagłosować, a na dzisiaj to tyle, więc do zobaczenia w kolejnych odcinkach, albo na weekendzie, albo od poniedziałku. Trzymajcie się, grał z Wami Draconikus. Cześć!